Hi everyone, my name is Tony Fox. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, and if you've already subscribed, thanks for coming back. Um, it's been quite a while since I've done a uh, plan with me, so I decided I'll get them started. Um, today we are going to do um, a setup of my June monthly pages. I subscribe to um, Sweet Kawaii Design and I have got the June subscription so I will be putting that down and then um, I do have a couple of pages to a couple of weeks to do in my um, weeklies so I shall start here so let me just make sure that we are all you can see hope everything's clear okay so i will get started um just need to find my trusty uh, tweezers which are here so how have you all been it has been quite um a long time since um i've uh i guess spoken to you all um, as you may or may not know, I have been to the US visiting my um, son, grandson and um, my daughter-in-law in Pittsburgh and while I was there I picked up lots and lots of um, goodies that we can't get here in Australia which has been great. Um, I've got um, some fountain pens. This is one of my little babies this is a aluminium caveca sport um don't know if you can notice the difference between the plastic and the aluminium but this is so beautiful this is such a um a beautiful little pen to write with and that beautiful nib oh, i love it this is what i use for um my daily journaling and I also did get, which I'm not 100% sure where it is. Yes, there it is. I got a um, Sailor Proggy Mini. Isn't she adorable? I just love this pen. Just love it. But, um, yeah, so I, I got all of these wonderful things while I was away. Um got to spend some amazing family time, got to see my little grandson who's uh, 16, nearly 17 months old. He is so cute. So he's um, walking around going nan 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 nan. Oh, it's so nice to hear those words. He's nan. So it was lovely. The weather was a little bit strange. One day the weather was great. The next day the weather was not so great. Um, it was it's it was up and down. Like at some points there, it was like um, minus you know five or six degrees, and then the next day it was twenty four, twenty five degrees. So in Australian terms, that's just crazy so um yeah i prefer the weather to be a little bit more um how do you say it stable like here where we live on the gold coast in queensland in australia the weather is consistent at the moment we are in um autumn so we are opposite seasons and the days are um, now down to around about 24 degrees, 24, 25. Then it goes down to a low of about 18, 19. So not a great big fluctuation and certainly nowhere near as um, bad as when I was at, um, in Pittsburgh. But we still managed to get outside and take little Nolan to the park and do things with him. He loves running around in the grass and 
being free to run as fast as he can, which is just so cute. But um, I'm hoping that maybe they might come here for Christmas. That would be lovely. Have a, um, a hot Christmas because Christmas is the peak of summer in Australia. But we'll see. We shall see. So, yes, so what else has been going on? Um, I'm not working at the moment. Um, while I was away, they um, uh, decided that there wasn't a position for me. So when I got back, there was no position available. They said they might give me some work in a couple of weeks, but I won't sort of hold my breath. So I'm going to um, do a lot more things with my planning and my planners and hopefully do some more videos and um, hopefully get um, a bit of momentum going and with any luck be able to sell some planning supplies that um, we find it quite challenging to get here in Australia so that's what I would love to do so that's what my plan is at the moment so um, yes what else um, health wise yeah I'm not overly great today um, had a huge pain crisis this morning I happened to get my COVID and my flu injection at the same time yesterday, um, one in each arm. Not sure if that is the wisest thing to do, but today um, I woke up, as I said, in a huge pain crisis. So I've had to uh, stay on top of my pain medication today and hopefully it will just uh, resolve itself, but these things can take a day or two to settle. And yeah, in the meantime, I'm very fatigued, very um, worn out with pain, unfortunately. So, but these things happen. I'm going to see a uh, orthopedic surgeon next week and we will discuss my uh, foot and my oh look at that nail polish day June 1 and my knee and see what um, what can be done about it and then we'll just come up with a plan of how we go about fixing problems that I'm having at the moment so I'm hoping that there is something that he can do um, whether or not he can he chooses to fix my knee or my, my knees plural or just my foot anyway we shall see what's this one chocolate ice cream day as you see, I'm putting down the wacky holidays. I love them. That's what um, I do in this particular planner. I love these uh, wacky holidays from Sweet Kawaii Design. Asia must um, come up with these crazy things, crazy ideas every month. So. I love all of those stickers because I don't use these monthlies for anything else so that's why I um, put these in here because this is actually my wellness planner so what I use this for is I basically put in um, how I'm feeling what's going on um, and any triggers like whether is if the weather is a trigger or um, things like that so I um, put that information in this particular planner 
so that's why there's no reason to put anything in the um, monthlies so I will show you once we have finished putting these in and um, then we can have a look through so yeah so do you have a um, wellness planner that you keep track of your um, health conditions do you live with a chronic health condition like I do uh, whether it be pain or um, some other chronic condition could be diabetes could be anything they're all classified as chronic conditions so uh, people that suffer with migraines uh, yeah I think that would just be horrific all of those type of things so okay wacky holidays and now done so as I said I've been doing them for a while it's, um, it's quite simple so just do that so the next step is to I need to fill that in so to do this week here um, so this is the 24th to the 30th. Um, today's the 28th. So I do have my sweet card design book here. So this is the June, which I don't really need. Let me have a look at the May, maybe. That's March. March, April, May. Let me see what May has to offer. Lulu. Sorry about that. That's um, my little puppy. There we go. Um, we might actually use this. Okay. I think we might go with this yellow color. if there is any Hmm, okay, we might just leave the top one for the time being, and we shall do the bottom. So, it's hard to believe that this is the last week of April. We are flying through this year. I don't know about you, but I just feel like the days and weeks are just flying past.
and um, yeah we just constantly trying to catch up all right let's do so okay we're missing some numbers Here we go. Oops. So it's twenty four. And the twenty fifth here, which was a couple of days ago, was Anzac Day. Um, Anzac is Australian New Zealand Army Corps. So it's a day that we celebrate our service men and women that have served. For this country so we celebrate we march we um we have the day off and show respect so that was on tuesday then on the following monday we have a day which we call um labor day or may day which is uh celebrating um people in the workforce so we get another public holiday for that which is kind of unusual but true that's what we do goodness me okay now the way i set these up is i generally will have one uh, line whether it be the weather the weather's down here and then I put triggers, mood, and here I put my pain scores. So that's pretty much what it looks like. So what I might do is... Um, see what boxes I have. I'm sure there's lots of boxes. Yeah. little boxes over there Okay, bit of a header there. Now these are little boxes. What I might do instead is put these down. These look kind of cute. Can banner into Thank 
And um, I think that will do. We've got to find the the tops. So I think that might um, might actually um, do. I think we just need to rule a line down there. Yes, we do. So I need to get. Very hard to concentrate and um, I might just let that dry for a sec while that's drying. I might just uh, these away. Otherwise, I've got myself in such a mess here. Goodness me, how bad am I drawing a straight line? Even with a ruler. Let's see, that would be to put the weather in, the weather impacts on my um, pain dramatically uh, we've got um, it's dry now but it was very rainy this morning so I wasn't very good this morning but um, hopefully as soon as the rain clears things will clear up for me so that is the week of the 24th through to the 30th so we just have to do the 1st to the 7th, which we will set up a bit later. But that is it for my Hibonichi Weeks, which is my wellness planner. So thank you for hanging around and I'll see you real soon. Ciao for now. Bye.